This video is intended to accomplish a couple of goals. Uh, the first thing I want to do is is give you some context as to why we changed the way events used to work to how it works now under publish events. Um, the other part of the video is just to give you a quick little introduction about how publish events works. However, we will have other knowledge base articles and potentially another video going into a lot more detail about how publish events works, both on the admin side of the portal and also on the affiliate portal as well. So first things first, why did we release publish events? The big problem that we were facing with the current functionality is that there was different ways that conversions and events would behave under different circumstances. Um, so we have different ways in which we displayed the events in the affiliate portal. There's different ways in which we would fire the affiliates pixel and overall it was a little confusing. So on the original way that we did things is that when you have an advertiser, there is a concept of a default conversion. So actually here on my screen, I have an advertiser card pulled up and every advertiser along with every offer has a default conversion. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. I'm gonna go into this advertiser card and click on the events tab. And as you can see here, we have the conversion slash install slash lead. Um, that's the default. Now in the system, you can actually change which event you want as your default, but nonetheless, the default was something that you couldn't really modify about how you showed it to the affiliates, how you paid on it, etc. And the biggest challenge that we had between how you actually displayed conversions in the affiliate portal or not differed between conversions and events. For a conversion, it all had to do with money. So if a conversion had money associated to it, then it would actually show in the affiliate portal. If a conversion had no money associated to it, the assumption was is that we do not want to display that conversion in the affiliate portal. So we would actually hide it and it would only go into the admin portal. Now, when we released events so many years ago, however, we actually gave you the um, flexibility to control what events showed up in the affiliate portal or not using the toggle portal. So if you enabled portal for an event, even though the payout was zero, we would still show that event in the affiliate portal. And that's confusing. And so the intention behind publish events was to create a much cleaner workflow and also a much simpler way of logically controlling how affiliates would engage with events, when their pixels would get fired, etc. So on the default conversion, you couldn't control it, but on the events, you could. And that was the big issue. So now let me go into an advertiser card that has a default conversion and also two additional events set up. And I wanna let you guys see what that looks like at the offer level and the campaign level and also the level of flexibility we give you to control those. So on the advertiser card, we already have our default conversion. It's set up right here. We have event two, which we've set up as a cost per event. The type is an event. I could have made that a conversion or an event and um, you still can actually. You can actually control what type of it is. And really the differences between a conversion and an event is where you wanna see those actions in reporting. So we have a column for conversions and we have a column for events. It's really up to you how you wanna view it in reporting and also giving you the flexibility to place an emphasis on conversions over events. Um, that's how some people view them anyways. Okay, um, and then we have event number three. Now, that's the basic setup on the advertiser card. Let's go to an offer for this advertiser and see how that looks on the event tab of the offer card. So if I cruise over to the events tab, I still have the same three events. Now, we can see here, we have a new feature called publish events. On event two, we have the same feature. And event three, I've actually chosen to not publish that. Now, publish and unpublish 
can also be controlled at the campaign level, which is additional functionality that did not exist prior to this release. So let's go to a campaign, open up a campaign card, and also let me bring this to the center and go to the events tab. So now the conversion, we can still choose whether or not we wanna publish it or not. Event two, we're gonna publish. And event three, we're not gonna publish. So here's the crux. If an event is published, it's gonna show in the affiliate portal and it's gonna fire the affiliates pixel if you have one placed. It's also gonna show in reporting. Even if it's a $0 paid event, it'll still show in the affiliate portal and the conversions will still show in the affiliate portal reporting as well. It'll just show at $0. That's because you've made an intentional decision to publish an event. Unpublished means that we're not gonna show it in the affiliate portal. We're not gonna fire the affiliates pixel. So that is the clean and clear distinction between publish and unpublish. Now it's important to note that when you create new events, by default, those events are gonna be published. So if you wanna create an event and remove it from the affiliates perspective and only have it for internal tracking only, make sure you uncheck publish. And then the campaigns that follow will inherit that setting. However, you can always control things at a campaign level. So even though you uncheck it somewhere else, you can always override at the campaign. Okay, if you have any questions about publish events, please let us know. Reach out to your account manager or call into technical support and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much.